Mario Kart Tour was super popular at launch. I even remember attending class that day and seeing classmates in college hooked to the game. And hear me out, some of those classmates barely even talked about video games or even Nintendo for that matter. And this lasted for the first few weeks. It was pretty insane because as a fan of Mario Kart myself, it's pretty shocking to see like 80 to 90% of my classmates playing this game. And you know what? I think this is because everyone loves Mario Kart and everyone knows about it. So to see a Mario Kart game come to the mobile gaming industry is definitely a huge hit. However, just like many things that are trendy, it must die down eventually. And just like Pokemon Go, Mario Kart Tour died down immensely. But in today's video, I'm not here to talk about Mario Kart Tour and why it's dying down. I'm here to review the game after one year and to see if there's a lot of changes to the point where you may even want to pick it up again. Or just to see if it's justifiable to be some sort of Mario Kart 9 until, well, the real Mario Kart 9 comes out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, review. So if you ever do at any point, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Mario Kart. Anyways, let's get on to it. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, Mario Kart Tour is constantly being updated every two weeks uh, as compared to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe where it barely even got any updates ever since launch and this is definitely something to consider like I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart Tour compared to 8 Deluxe because of this reason. Having updates makes things like more refreshing to me and to see a mobile game get updates every like two weeks is pretty awesome. And so within the past year, there's been a lot of updates for Mario Kart Tour. It's actually been a lot better over the past few months. For example, they finally updated the controls, which I don't know why they didn't put this since the beginning, but legit playing in portrait mode is terrible, and I personally prefer playing landscape mode. This was added in one update, and I remember you could actually toggle left and right mode, and that's what I've been using ever since. Left side, basically, you can control like your cart and like drift that way, and the right side is solely on items. And this is an amazing improvement because now I don't have accidental touches when I'm trying to, you know, just drift instead of using items. There were times when I'm playing in portrait mode and it sucked because when I'm trying to drift, I sometimes accidentally use an item. Another thing they updated over the year was finally being able to play online with friends and with random people. This gives the game more depth because I feel like the rank cup mode isn't just enough for this mobile game. Like it got boring real quick and I even remember when there was a cooldown time when you couldn't even play the cups for a while. Like you would have to wait like 8 hours before you play the next one. And this honestly sucked because again as someone who really loves Mario Kart I can't just play it like for 2-3 to three hours without being prompted that I have to wait the next day for the next cup or two. So yeah, really smart in Nintendo's part to finally include multiplayer. Now I feel like that's the main mode in this game and you can actually still get rewards playing through multiplayer. I mean, you could still get grand stars for your total points. And what's even better is depending on the rule set that day, you could have a day where you literally are equal among your opponents. There will be times where your character doesn't matter, your cart doesn't matter, you guys have like the same item slot, so it's all good and fun and fair. And you can actually still get decent points from that, so I don't see how this is a negative at all. There will definitely be times though where it does kind of matter, like such as in this recording where I actually got footage of unfortunately in this time of event where uh, the cart and character does kind of matter and so I would lose out on certain number of item slots but you know it doesn't really destroy the experience and you could definitely still catch up with those who actually have more items than you. And even if you do feel a little bit cheated, at least it's better than playing the bots in rank mode. Sometimes they just rubber band and pass you for no reason. So I definitely would prefer playing multiplayer online if I want to get more points. Okay, moving on, we could talk about the new characters they put into this game. It's awesome to finally see characters like Hammer Bros, Monty Mole, Pauline into the game. It's really awesome to see diversity in this. And even though we do have a lot of Marios and Peaches, like a lot of clone characters basically, I think there's still a lot more of the base roster compared to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 doesn't have Hammer Bros, Monty Mole, Pauline, Dixie Kong, Funky Kong, Nabbit, King Babam, and the list basically goes on. However, I do have to agree there are weird alts like baby Rosalina that's a detective or penguin Luigi chef shy guy but you know we still have amazing ones such as Rosalina swimwear, Waluigi bus driver, pirate Bowser Jr. These are awesome picks and I really hope for Mario Kart 9 or if they skip that and do Mario Kart 10 they would include skins as like additional choices when you select your character that would be freaking awesome. Not to mention, they're still updating the items, such as if you select King Babam, you literally throw a huge 
bob bomb and if you select ice mario you actually like shoot out ice ball so it's really cool to see that we have some diversity in items as well so it does make the experience a lot different than mario kart 8 in the sense where there's more characters more items to choose from and let's even move on to the tracks even though there's not as many tracks as you would expect compared to like mario kart 8 deluxe there's a lot of diversity when choosing a certain track and what i mean by this is a lot of tracks are remixed so in other words we are still getting new tracks with basically different versions of the original track such as the reverse version the trick version reverse and trick version so it does give it a little bit more dimension a good example actually is in this footage calamari desert you can actually like drive within the tunnel now and it actually makes you go different ways than just like a linear path compared to the original version so it's pretty cool to see stuff like that into the game even though there's no sophisticated courses such as like a really long rainbow road it's still fun and they do make creative ideas to these courses and of course there's nitro tracks as well every two weeks i mean it's awesome to see that we have courses that pretty much are based off of real life places such as new york minute vancouver velocity which has the best music by the way and los angeles laps at this time of this video is being like recorded however even though there are a lot of in-game stuff in this game unfortunately it's still a gotcha game so <laughs> the problem is trying to get a lot of these varied items unfortunately the sad truth is it's not easy to get musician mario or witch rosalina on halloween so you are gonna have to work for it especially if you're free to play and i honestly feel like the shops now feel more expensive i think they upped the price with coins but you know, at least they added events now, and basically, like for this week, for example, you just have to do something specific to get these green coins. And for the past time I've been playing for the past week to record, if you land a banana hit on somebody, you get a green coin or a few green coins from just doing that. And using green coins, you can unlock other certain content in the events shop, and you can get stuff like rubies, uh, certain like other tickets and such, so it's pretty helpful in that regard. So if you don't have a lot of coins, you could also collect green coins token events but like I said it's still a little bit unfortunate that it's so difficult sometimes to just get what you want especially the rare items and honestly this is where a lot of people would complain it's like you know you want to get what you want to get but you have to pay for it if you really just want it some people can argue that it's fine I personally think it's fine uh, microtransactions are super costly I wouldn't even recommend even like purchasing them though it's definitely not worth it unless you want to get the gold pass I think that's the only thing I would definitely recommend if you still want to play this game I think it's definitely worth it because you get 150 cc 200 cc extra tour gifts and it's four dollars and 99 cents a month and even though that costs like about 60 dollars a year I mean you don't have to pay that every freaking time like you can cancel at any point and even though you could play a game that's worth $60 at some point you could like I said cancel this at any point and you know you wouldn't really miss out too much. And finally one more thing I want to talk about is for every tour now you can actually shoot three to four pipes for free. It's actually included when you get a specific amount of grand stars or it opens up right after you beat like the whole entire cups. Especially the gold one it's awesome to see that you can get one free high end item at the end after completing all of them. So it's nice to see that they're being a little bit nicer when it comes to firing stuff for free. And plus it's even good to see when you select like what kind of pipes you want to choose from. You can select one with only like 50 items which I think is a better deal than actually shooting from 100 because you know with 50 items inside a pipe you have a higher chance in getting like certain items compared to like a pipe with like 100. So overall, I think Mario Kart Tour is definitely one of the weakest in the series, but the improvements over time actually make this game really appealing to me, especially with the gacha mechanics. Even though I personally don't want to pay anything for this game, even though I paid a little bit over time, I definitely still pay for the gold pass, and I go for special pipes whenever possible. When I get free ones, I shoot, and I actually like save up my ruby so I can actually shoot 45 in one go. I personally think it's a better deal that way. And plus, I think they made it easier where you can actually reach a 45 at the end of each and every tour during the couple of weeks. The controls, while a lot better, are definitely still not perfect. There are times where I sometimes, like, skid off without any reason and i think it's mostly due to the fact that 200 cc is so difficult on mario kart tour it's definitely more feasible on mario kart 8 deluxe but with mario kart tour it's definitely sometimes impossible to turn and yeah while it's not as good as mario kart 8 deluxe like i said the constant updates are super appealing 
We always get new characters, interesting track designs to choose from, trick and reverse mode which I personally find interesting, 3 item slot mechanic can be pretty annoying at times but it's super fascinating and you know, seeing a game where it's just so weird and wacky just fits the Mario Kart vibe. It still feels super chaotic, still feels aggravating online like it is in every other Mario Kart and honestly I kinda think Mario Kart Tour is like Mario Kart 9 just not really the one we'd expect from Nintendo. I mean like I said it has a lot of new things, new characters, new tracks, it's really because of the controls and the gacha mechanics makes it seem more inferior but if you minus all of that it feels like Mario Kart and even if it is like a Mario Kart 9 Nintendo could potentially skip 9 and just make Mario Kart 10 and make it a big banger. We haven't had a new mainline Mario Kart since literally 2014 if you're not counting deluxe so maybe they're just working on that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's review and comment down below if you're still playing Mario Kart Tour and why you chose to still play the game or why you chose not to play the game anymore. Until then, thank you guys again for watching. I've been Jigsawflex. I'm signing out for now and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces my duders.